this is at 2041 Pacific Street okay I am currently on the fourth floor this is Miss Collins again 2041 Pacific Street uh, it's located in Brooklyn the property manager location is at 575 Howard Avenue today is the 13th of July I asked these gentlemen what are they doing they told me that they are putting up scaffoldings I asked why are you putting up scaffoldings these scaffoldings reminds me of when they had the asbestos abatement on the roof now this is an issue that I've been going through for the longest time I complained to the chairman the chairwoman about the brick structure this is my window I'm on the fourth floor this is my window this window here with the air conditioner this is my son's window he has asthma okay the fire escape window that's also my son's window I am currently looking out of the living room window this is the living room window and I'm looking out of it when I asked these gentlemen what are they doing they said they're putting up scaffoldings I spoke to the safety person early this morning they told me that all of these windows has asbestos in it asbestos around the brick structure asbestos asbestos now I have showed pictures okay I'm coming around to another window in my apartment this is a window that is next to the kitchen okay I'm going to pull up the shades Okay, this is my living room window. They started the work, they stopped. Why did they stop the work? Because there is asbestos in here. There is asbestos that's coming into my window. It's coming in my window. It's coming in these people's window. These people's windows is open is open wide open this is the transaction that took place when my little boy at the age of five contracted pneumonia this is New York City Housing Authority this building belongs to NYCHA I cannot complain enough in regards to the situation pertaining to 2041 Pacific Street in Brooklyn. They are putting up scaffoldings to do an abatement. It's an asbestos abatement that they are doing to these brick structures that they are doing to my windows. My windows, there is asbestos coming into my window. There is asbestos. This is my living room. This is my living room. There is asbestos entering into my living room. They said, these men down there, they said that there is asbestos in all of these bricks. All of these bricks, there is asbestos in it. Okay, I'm going to go back to the living room. This is the living room. I'm coming back to the window. They are doing an asbestos abatement. People have their windows wide open. Okay. I'm going to go to my son's bedroom. I'm walking towards my son's bedroom. This is his little room. This is my baby's little room. This is window number one. Windows number two. Let's go to window number one. Let's see what my son has to look at when he opens up his shades. 
Wow. This is what my child who contracted asthma in this NYCHA apartment. And his AC is here. What is that? I don't know. Looks like mold to me. No one gave me any information. NYCHA, property manager, Ms. Gibbs, whoever, Washington, whoever. These people never notified me in regards to anything that they're doing. You have tenants. They have things that's currently in their window. That AC is in the window. Windows, ACs. Notice was never given out to any of the tenants. None whatsoever. Windows wide open. This is July, hot day. Okay. So therefore, in regards to my son's window, in regards to his window, yeah, I showed you before, all of this brick structure and stuff coming in, entering into his window. Yep. Okay, you see that? Now we're gonna go to his other window. We're gonna go to his other window. This is my little boy's other window. Move his little Bob the Builder things away, his little thingies. Okay, let's just open up this, let's just open up this gate. Okay, let me just, oops. Okay, now let's see. Okay, so this is a cracked window. And this happens to be a new window that they put in per court order 2010. So this is the other window that my son has to look out of. So basically he has nowhere to go to get fresh air. So NYCHA wants my son to get an asthma attack and die in here. You see that? They said it's asbestos. They said asbestos is in the bricks surrounding our windows. So that's my living room window. And this is my little boy's window near the fire escape. You see this? Okay, let's just say I want to take my son to my bedroom. He can't get any air out of the living room. He can't get any air out of his room. Let's just say we take him to my bedroom. And I decide I want to open up a window. This is what he's faced with. No brick, no uh <laughs> Let's see what he faced with. No windowsill. I still have no windowsill. Long Island Railroad. Dusty bricks. Dusty bricks. Who knows what's on top of these bricks? Because these men, they use masks on their face. <laughs> Who knows what's on top? Okay, so I basically have nowhere to open up a window for my little boy to breathe. As far as him having asthma, how can I prove that? Thanks to NYCHA's negligence, thanks to NYCHA's breach of contract. Breach of contract, you say how? How about warranty of habitability? This is Ms. Collins. How many transfers did I put in? How many? All right. 
How many transfers did I put in? I put in a total of five. I put in a total of five transfers and I even sent you, I sent videos of some botched transaction that they did to my apartment on June 25th. They sent a paint supervisor to address mold and now you're telling me that outside this window, outside this window, look at this, my, my living room window, this is what I have to visualize, me and my baby. When he comes home from school, he got to see this. He got to see this as he look. He can't look out his window. He can't open it. This is his table. Yeah. This is pieces of the mold. This is pieces of the mold that I snatched off. I said, yeah, this is going to be exhibit A. You see all of this? This belongs to my son, Jacob. You see Jacob? His name Jacob. This belongs to my son, Jacob. My little boy. See that? The property manager is located at 575 Howard Avenue. Do I have a case? Of course I have a case. Can I sue NYCHA? Absolutely. Can NYCHA sue me? They got as much chance as suing me and winning as a snowball having hell. They tried to kill my son, 2010. Pneumonia in his lungs. And now this. See this? Look at this. This is window number two. This is another window. Another window in my apartment. This is the one that I showed you guys. With the brick structure looking like that. You see that brick structure up there? That's asbestos. That's asbestos. And how do I know? Because I was told. I was told by these people. I was told by these men. The person who heads them up. The person who they report to. He said, there is asbestos in the bricks, miss. And we need to do an abatement. We're putting up the scaffoldings to do an abatement. You see that? Mr. de Blasio, I thought you said that there would be no more scaffoldings going up. Lies. Lies, lies, lies. Lies. I spoke to you guys about the brick structure, that slab of brick that fell on my baby. And now this? Really? This is an attempt, to me, this is attempted murder. For every tenant in here, that's attempted murder. Nacha is negligent. Nacha is negligent. They breached their contract, the long lease. That's what I'm talking about. The long form line 10, which is health and hazard and something or another. They're in breach of contract. They're in breach of contract again. Warranty of habitability. You come in my apartment and you do your botched asbestos repair. You send a paint supervisor to do it. Who toxic. This toxic all in the ear now. This toxin all in the ear. Toxic. The ear is toxic. So it's toxic out there, and it's toxic in here. So my son's supposed to have an asthma attack and die, right? That's supposed to be the next step? You're getting sued. Look at this. Look at this. Who am I? You know who I am. You know who I am. All right. We're going to see where this is going. We're going to see. I'm not going to lose.